So in this video, I'm going to be addressing a question that I get all the time, and it is, what do I need to know before getting into cybersecurity? So right here, I'm going to present you with five things, five, five of the most important things that I think you should know or understand before getting into cybersecurity. So first off, the most important thing that you should know before getting into cybersecurity is that you should have a genuine interest for the field. Because I know that a lot of people have been emailing me and a lot of people have been commenting in this uh, comment section. I see it in Reddit all the time asking about um, how much you make in cybersecurity. And it's well known that cybersecurity professionals make a lot of money, more than average. So this could be very appealing for people. but. If you really want to have a successful career in this field and do this for a long time, you have to be passionate about the field. So tip number two is really related to tip number one in that tip number two is that you really always have to have this willingness to learn. You have to always be looking into the newest, um, the newest areas of the field. You have to always be reading. And this is you this is because this is based off of your genuine interest for the field you constantly have to be striving to to learn more every day and this is what will get you far in this field i mentioned this in a lot of my videos and it's just so important this field is moving so quickly and progressing so rapidly that you really cannot be um, just passively working in the field just showing up to work doing your your nine to five leaving not thinking about it when you leave work and doing that process every day. There are some jobs out there, not in the field that you can do that with. Some, some jobs in IT, if you're really just not interested in working at all and you just wanna go through the motions, but this is, not, this is not the field to just be going through the motions. So tip number three is really important, and I stress this a lot, and you just have to really understand that you will never know everything. Um, this is why we have these big teams at the companies. We have, we have group projects in school. Everyone brings something different to the table. In a field where that is so as broad as cybersecurity, and like I said in the last step, as quickly uh, and rapidly moving as cybersecurity, you really, you really have to call upon the expertise of others as well to complement your own. You're never going to know everything. And if you're one of these people that when you walk into a room, you have to be the, the smartest or most knowledgeable person in the room or seem to be that most knowledgeable person in the room. And you can, if you're one of these people who does it by just acting like you know everything, taking everything as an insult when someone, someone corrects you or someone tries to help you out, this may not be the feel for you because you have to really be humble and realize that we're all working together on one team to achieve our objective. And going off of that point, you really have to be a team player. Um, the, you're, pretty much every, every single project will be based with some team uh, in this field. And I know that's a pretty broad statement, but at, at some point you're gonna be dealing with, you're gonna be working on a team and you're gonna need to get along with these individuals on your team because at the end of the day, the, achieving the objective is the most important thing and will really keep, keep your client, if you're in consulting, or keep your company uh, safe at the end of the day. So if you're, if you're one of these people who really does not, is not a great team player, or um, if you're really just trying to achieve all this credit on your own, you're, you're really gonna get weeded out of the field very quickly because you need to build these relationships with your teammates. You need to prove to them that you're a good team player and that you're reliable, because then you will be keep, you'll keep on getting on these great projects. And if you're one of these people who is just trying to take take all of the credit for yourself, at the end of the day, you're not going to outperform a team and you're just gonna quickly get sifted out of the mix and, and not included anymore. So I know by now that we're at the fifth step that some of you are like, wait, do I need to know Python? Do I need to know Java? Do I need to know Bash? Uh, do I need to know ethical hacking? Do I need to know how to hack a Facebook account? Because I get these emails all the time. Um, what do I need to know before getting into cybersecurity? Like I mentioned, if you're trying to get into cybersecurity, I mean, if you're passionate about it, you have these la you have these uh, previous four tips. You're gonna you're gonna be successful. Like you really don't need to come into it knowing all this crazy technical knowledge. You just, I mean, if you're from basically familiar with with working with computers, like if even if you're just helping out your family members or helping out your grandma with with her computer. Um, and you just have this willingness to learn, you will quickly absorb all the information that you need, uh, that you need to excel. And it's not really, 
like you have to identify where you want to go in cybersecurity before acquiring all this knowledge. So you can go and sit down for 80 hours. Oh, you can buy a course, 80 hours of ethical hacking. And then you show up to your job interview. You could be showing up for an entry level stock position and tell them that you have all this ethical hacking experience. Um, that could not be as valuable to them just because they're looking for, they're looking for a SOC analyst. Um, so I just, I recommend that you're just basically familiar and you have this enthusiasm, um, for the field and you're willing to, you're willing to take on the information that's presented to you. So don't take this tip the wrong way. Uh, don't just completely avoid learning Python or bash or Linux administration. Like you, you want to add all this to your portfolio, but what I'm saying is don't, don't think that you have to go out and do all this stuff before applying to the field. That's the most important thing. Um, and I tell people this all the time. You just really have to just get that foot in the door and get started and all the knowledge will come. There's, there's no reason for you to waste uh, four months, for example, doing a course just because you think you need it to get started in the field. It, the course will definitely help you, but in that four months, you could have worked the entire four months and you would have learned job specific knowledge. You would have learned exactly what you need to know uh, to progress in the field. So just, just take these tips and um, consider them. Uh, they're they're defi definitely individual. And, but I, I just wanna really stress that if you're interested in getting to cybersecurity, just, you just really need to make the move, make all your actions towards getting into cybersecurity instead of like really spending so much time on, on worrying about what you need uh, if you don't have enough. Like if, if you're motivated, you'll, get, you'll do it. So thanks for watching my video. If you like this video, please subscribe and check out the next video I uh, put out.